Look at the goaltenders, Mike Gwen. Here we go. Brent Johnson with DP Extra. I want to see it. Here we go. Oh, hit him with a left. He oh. No, he hit him. He hit him. He's not going to hit him again. But he gonna, he's going to hold him down and don't let him up. Well, he, he hammered him good. Say what you will about his personal life. A little bit. Not existing. Not existing. All right, have a seat. I'm have okay. a seat. I'm okay. Okay. All right, you're good, but have a seat. Okay. Boy. Sit down. Sit down. When Ed Belfour was on the ice, he was the greatest goalie of the 1990s. Ed Belfour, or Eddie the Eagle, had a very unconventional road to the NHL. He would start his junior career in the Manitoba Junior Hockey League, playing for the Winkler Flyers. He would skip going to the WHL or OHL and go straight to the NCAA, playing for the University of North Dakota. While with the Fighting Sioux, Eddie racked up an impressive 29 wins in their 40-win season, ensuring them a spot in the Frozen Four and winning an NCAA title. Surprisingly enough, after declaring for the draft, Ed Belfour was undrafted during the 1987 NHL entry draft, which meant he could sign with any team as a free agent. He chose to sign with the Chicago Blackhawks. He would spend a full year seasoning in the International Hockey League playing for the Saginaw Hawks. During the 88-89 season, he would split time between the IHL and NHL, playing in his first 23 games in the NHL. His NHL numbers were less than stellar in his debut, and he was sent back down, this time playing with the Canadian national team during the 89-90 season. By the 1990-91 season, Eddie was ready for the NHL and became a full-time starter with the Chicago Blackhawks. Playing in 74 games, he would rack up an amazing 2.47 goals against average and a .910 save percentage. Good enough to be an NHL All-Star, a William M. Jennings winner, a Vesna Trophy winner, and a Calder Trophy winner for Rookie of the Year. During his second season with the Blackhawks, he would post excellent numbers again, this season going deep into the playoffs all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, but ultimately losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Eddie would continue his dominance over the next few years, in 92-93 winning a Jennings and a Vesna again, in 94-95 winning a Jennings for a third time, and winning a Canada Cup in 91. In 96-97, Chicago was forced to trade Belfour to San Jose due to losing him as a UFA for the following season. He would finish out the remaining few games in San Jose, but choose not to re-sign with the team, instead signing with the Dallas Stars for the start of the 97-98 season. This turned out to be a great decision, as Ed Belfour put up his best season ever with a goals against average of 1.88 and a save percentage of .916. With a berth in the playoffs, but unfortunately would not lead to the Stanley Cup. It was during the 98-99 season that Belfour would put up stellar numbers again with a 1.99 goals against average and a .915 save percentage. This time advancing in the postseason all the way to the Stanley Cup and winning it with the Dallas Stars. Eddie the Eagle was finally a Stanley Cup champion. Belfour would put up another two amazing seasons in Dallas, capping off his run with the Stars with an Olympic gold medal in 2002 with Team Canada. During the 2003 season, he would sign with the Toronto Maple Leafs, where he would become their full-time backstopper. Over the next two seasons, Eddie would put up decent numbers and help the Leafs make it into the playoffs twice, but never getting close to a Stanley Cup championship. At the end of the 0506 season, Eddie's numbers were declining, and the Maple Leafs chose not to re-sign him. Belfort would sign with the Florida Panthers for the 06-07 season. Although he had a bit of a bounce back and his numbers were decent, he finally made the decision that it was time to retire from active play. At the end of the 2007 season, Eddie the Eagle had played in 963 NHL career games, had a goals against average of 2.5 and a save percentage of .906, and would rack up 484 career wins. He was an NCAA champion, a Canada Cup champion, an Olympic gold medalist, a six-time NHL All-Star, would win four Jennings trophies, 
two Vesna trophies, a Calder trophy, a Stanley Cup champ, and it was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2011. Others will argue that Patrick Waugh, Martin Brodeur, and Dominic Hasek were far better goaltenders and had a more lasting legacy in the NHL, but as far as the 90s were concerned, Ed Belfour was the best goalie. It's all time, my game, the way we're supposed to play. We throw a